multi-factor authentication or MFA is quite simple. In fact, you probably already use it in some form. For example, you have used MFA if you have used your bank card at the ATM machine and then entered your PIN number. Or logged into a website that sends you a text or numeric code to your phone, which you then enter to gain access to your account. MFA or multi-factor authentication is a security enhancement that allows you to present two different credentials when logging into an account. It creates another layer of defense that makes it more difficult for an unauthorized user to gain access. Most MFA authentication methodology is based on one of three types of additional information. Things you know, such as a password or a PIN, things you have such as a badge or a smartphone, things you are such as a biometric like fingerprints or voice recognition. Your credentials must come from two different types to enhance security. So entering two different passwords would not be considered multi-factor. If you have turned on MFA on your online banking or if your bank turned it on for you, things go a little different when you try to log in. First and most typically, you'll type in your username and password. Then as a second factor, you'll either use an authenticator app, which will generate a one-time code, or a PIN code is being texted to your cell phone that you enter it on the next screen and you can gain access to your account. One of the biggest shortcomings of traditional usernames and passwords is that they can be easily compromised. In fact, they're highly vulnerable to cyber criminals' attacks like brute force and account takeovers. Many users have reused their username and password across multiple systems and popular websites such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and many others. These sites are attractive targets for hackers who are looking for ways to steal data or leverage an account as a resource to generate spam. To combat these leaks, a couple of things can be done. First, using a unique password for every site and system means a leak on one doesn't directly impact another. The other thing a user can do is enable MFA or multi-factor authentication. MFA increases security because even if one credential becomes compromised, unauthorized users will be unable to meet the second authentication requirement and will not be able to access the targeted physical space, computing devices, network, or databases.